These are devotions for people at a social distance. Happy New Year. It is January 2021. I hope uh, that this is a good year for you, a year that may begin in great difficulty, but that brings you many good things. As you may know, uh, the month of January is named after an ancient Roman god uh, known as Janus. Janus was the Roman god of beginnings and endings and is usually depicted as having two faces, one looking forward, looking into the future, and one looking back into the past. And so that's why they named the first, the opening month of the year in honor of that god. Uh, there was a temple uh, in, in Rome uh, that had gates, and when Rome was at war, which was, let's face it, almost always, the gates of the Temple of Janus would be left open in the city, but when the city of Rome, when the empire was at peace with great ceremony, these gates would be closed. And so, in, in a sense, uh, Janus was also a god who signaled peace. This puts me in mind of a couple of passages of scripture uh, that I think apply to us as we begin a new year. The first is from Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. God has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from beginning to the end. So this sense of, of one of the things that makes us human, one of those unique things that makes us human uh, is, in fact, a gift of God, the ability to ponder both the future and the past, which, of course, is what Jaina symbolizes. Uh, but, but the Bible claims that as a gift of God, the creator. And, uh, and I think that that is one thing we can certainly celebrate, that God gives us the gift at these moments of transition to look forward, to look back, to find our place, to ponder, even though we do not all, always understand all that God is doing in the world. The second verse that Janus makes me think of is uh, Revelations uh, chapter 21, verse 6, though this is actually a phrase that is repeated a few times in the book of Revelation. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. That is, of course, uh, Jesus, uh, the apoc apocalyptic Jesus, speaking and claiming you know, to be uh, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. So we might put it the A and the Z, uh, God, encompassing all. Um, and I'm wouldn't be surprised at all if if John included that phrase a number of times in the book of Revelation as a kind of counter to the idea of Janus, uh, the Roman god, because he was not very pleased with the Romans, uh, as comes out again and again in the book of Revelation, and is, is often uh, portraying Jesus as over against the ways of the Romans. So how is Jesus, how is the Christ that we follow? better than Janus. He also is uh, this, he, he guides us through the transitions of life. He is there for the beginnings and the endings. But more than that, he is the beginnings and the endings. He is with us with those, through those difficult transitions of life. And as we look at this new year and recognizing that we will be going through some difficult transitions to know uh, that we have a Christ who is uh, in those transitions with us, who walks us through the life transitions of life. And of course, Jesus is also the one who brings us peace, lasting peace, peace uh, that is within and peace that comes without as we go through tra transitions of life. Jesus is better than Janus. Let's pray. The beginning of a new year lord god we thank you that you are with us through the transitions of life we thank you lord jesus that you are our beginning and our end and with us through it all and thank you that we can take comfort in this amen a blessed new year to you